Hello everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick with your Political News Roundup for Friday, January 21st. President Obama has turned to the private sector for leadership of his independent economic panel. He picked General Electric Chairman and CEO Jeffrey Immelt to chair the Council on Jobs and Competitiveness. He'll succeed former Fed Chairman Paul Volcker on that panel, which was previously known as the President's Economic Recovery and Advisory Board. The announcement comes on the same day GE announced fourth quarter and full year earnings that beat expectations and sent the company stocks soaring. President Obama goes before a joint session of Congress and a national TV audience Tuesday for his State of the Union address. When it's over, we'll hear the Republican response from House Budget Committee Chairman Paul Ryan of Wisconsin. The Republicans announced that choice today. Ryan has been in Congress for 12 years. He's expected to be a key player in the GOP drive to cut federal spending. Another big sign of recovery for wounded Arizona Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. She's out of her Tucson hospital less than two weeks after suffering a bullet wound to the head. Giffords was transferred today to a rehab center in Houston. Doctors say she'll likely need months of therapy. The 40-year-old Giffords was wounded January 8th when a gunman opened fire during an outdoor constituent meeting she was holding in Tucson. Six people were killed in that incident. And one of Arnold Schwarzenegger's final acts as governor of California was to commute the prison sentence of a man who'd pled guilty to manslaughter in a 2008 stabbing death. Well, now the family of the stabbing victim is suing Schwarzenegger. The family of Luis Santos says the former governor violated what's known as Marcy's Law in California. That law requires victims to be notified when there's a reduction in sentence. The convicted man, Esteban Nunez, was sentenced to serve 16 years for his role in the killing. No comment from Schwarzenegger. Legal experts say the suit has little chance of success, but could break new legal ground. That's your political roundup for Friday, January 21st. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Enjoy your weekend and stay logged on to RTTNews.com for more on these and other political and financial news stories throughout the day.